Hello, bomb hovering tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Plague Knight with me, Blue Ankylo. We're gonna try our first uh, enemy knight in uh, Plague Knight's adventures, and uh, hopefully we'll do all right. I'm I'm enjoying the change. I mean, I like I like Shovel Knight a lot, like the, the, as the play as a character, but Plague Knight is pretty neat. So we're we're gonna try to get the hang of his his abilities a little bit better, and uh, see how I do. For now, I'll be playing through a little bit slower to be careful. Oh, you can double jump and fall slowly. Okay, you get a lot of distance. We bought that uh, upgrade at the, sh at the town last episode, and it looks like it was a really good idea. Oh, between that and... Yeah, okay. So definitely use the charge slow motion hover fall. That, that seems to be maybe the best upgrade I could have possibly thought. I, I just, I'm sure it's gonna make things so much easier. Oh, wow. Don't, don't, don't jump into the, uh, the lava. That's, that's probably your first mistake. What we did also pick up a nifty little thing. Bomb fish! And you get health potions out of it, okay. So, do we not get Icker? I mean, if we don't get full health potions, things are gonna be a little bit more difficult, because, uh, that was your, uh, Easy mode button, in my opinion. And if you remember, I tried not to use them too often once I got the hang of the game, because uh, clearly being able to just full heal at any time during a boss fight is pretty powerful. <laughs> so I feel like maybe I should get the uh, upwards lobbing uh, bomb upgrade next, because we don't really have a way. Like, we can't toss our bombs very far right now, or upwards at all, and not too many enemies are, like, below us. So, um, I know there's an upgrade for that that's in the shop, so I think that might be the next one. Ha! That'll teach you statues. We're all good here. Uh, I don't know if I should go up or right here. Um, I assume up might have been the uh, secret, so maybe I'll go back. Sure can get some height. All right, let's do this pretty specifically to go up. Yeah, this will, this will probably be the, uh, the way to treasure. Oh, I should probably get this, actually. Those are pretty good. Am I... Oh, maybe five is all you can carry. Yeah, they'll... Okay, that'll teach me. I'm just not gonna die. We're fine. Don't worry about it. I'll never die again. Let's use all my health potions because I'm never going to die. Look how not dying I am. I keep throwing the fish accidentally. <laughs> the fish bomb. Alright, can I handle the little miniature platforming here? Hey, a flare wand! No one sells them to me anymore? A worthless relic. <laughs> we can't even use it. <laughs> I love how Plague Knight is like, everything Shovel Knight thought was valuable and important, he's like, ah, it's garbage. Even the musical sheets, right? I, 
I like the, the hovering around throwing bombs at people is pretty cool. Does my new... Oh yeah, so my new move doesn't actually throw a bomb. The, uh, the charge attack. I think the original did throw a bomb. This one, there's just a little explosion and, uh... That's all you get. Looks like I can use the fish to attack people, though. That's great. More importantly, you can use it to uh, bomb other fishes. <laughs> Go fish bomb! That's pretty cool, right? You gotta give that some credit. Fish bombs. Alright, so that's gonna be a Shovel Knight only door, clearly. But I needed that uh, coin. Yeah, you can hover so far if you do it right with that bolt, that jump. It's so cool. I, I really like the character design, because, like... By default, Plague Knight's problem is, like, he can barely jump at all. But he's got upgrades that let him jump way better than Shovel Knight could. Right, bombs. I feel like... He wouldn't mind the bombs being there, because that's what he that's his thing. This seems like a direction I may have not gone in last time as well, we'll see. Ah, Mr. Gem. Give me the treasure! Excellent. Now all I need to do is not die on this map and have a whole bunch of treasure to go back to town with. Alright, so that would have connected up. That connects up one way or the other. I should at least save it though. Alright, we got lots of health and lots of health tonics. It's a good sign. Alright, so Fireball Phoenix, right, yeah. I probably want to be a little bit closer. Not Phoenix. Griffin. Hmm. There we go. So I can hit him from behind. I can totally cheese it. Yeah, I'm a cheater. Look, I think it's in character for this guy. I feel like Plague Knight would do that. that that's that's an in-character type of attack. Oops. <laughs> I keep... Because up an attack, like, bomb is attack, and up an attack is what sends the, um, the special, it's really easy to accidentally, um... It's maybe a little bit too easy to accidentally, um, use it. trying to be careful. I don't really want to lose all of my uh, tonic upgrades for my max health if I can help it. Alright, now can we get... Can we actually jump this high? I, I don't think so. I think this is just outside of my range. Yeah. You know, maybe in the last episode that was my problem, is I was trying to... Um, bomb hover mid-air, but I, because I was like jumping to the up and right, I guess, for that jump that I kept dying on, maybe I was pressing up while I was trying to use my bomb, and that was not doing anything because I didn't have a, a magic spell yet, and instead of throwing the bombs to let me hover and open the way, that, I bet you that's my problem. Anyway, I don't think I can make that jump, one way or the other. I'm not even sure if you can get up there for sure, but if I can, I'm not doing it today. solid so far.
guess I should get this uh, treasure here. No problem. All right. Let's keep a move on. Yeah, I should remember there's also, um, feels like behind every banner there's probably a little treasure chest. So yeah, these sorts of things, th this sort of thing shouldn't be a difficult area to, to navigate, but because it's my first time with uh, Plague Knight sort of getting the hang of it, uh, I'm going to just try to be a little bit more cautious for those, basically. Now these used to make, like, bouncing blocks. So I guess now we, just, we can charge jump high enough that we don't need them. But first, bomb fishing. Hmm. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, oh man. Uh, there is a lot more recovery with this guy because of the way his, uh, the way his bombs work. No, 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 no! <laughs> I didn't, I didn't hold the charge long enough. Well, say goodbye to all my health tonics. I've been doing fairly well until that. Alright. In fact, that's the first death on this map, I think. So. Pretty proud of myself. Platforming with all the, the flying, hovering stuff finally got to me. Oh yeah, that, that was my bad. No! Okay, that's totally what I meant to do! No! No! <laughs> Same point exactly! Dang it! Well, now my health tonics are definitely gone. Dang it! Platforming, bane of my life. You probably could just make that jump, honestly. Yeah. I mean, I'll just say it again, though. He does platform oddly. No, 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 no. I okay. Take a deep breath. It's not that hard. I'm just getting flustered. There's no reason for Plague Knight to be having this hard of a time. He's he's better at this kind of thing than uh, he's he's better at this than Shovel Knight was. If I'm if I'm smart. It's just really nice to use that hover to, uh... No! <laughs> I still didn't make it! I should be bomb hovering while I'm floating like that. I just I haven't quite ingrained it into my brain yet. So I'm, I'm sorry that we're stuck on this for a little bit long today, guys. <laughs> I don't have any great excuse other than trying to learn how to do it. Like, he's, he's got more options mid-air than um, Shovel Knight did, but it's also relatively tricky controls. Like, I, I, sh I gotta make more... No! I don't even know what happened there. I just got sucked into the fire and knocked off. Um, what I was trying to say was I need to get, like, more than just one past one platform on one cycle. Like, I, I need to make it a little bit further. Oh, that is not what I meant to do. Alright. Alright, 
so. Like, look how easy it is. I got no excuses. That should be really easy, and I just... That's fine. Don't worry about it. It's fine. I don't need my life. I don't even need life. Ah. Uh, Alright. Before I get to the boss, I'll use my uh, tonics. So where do I stand? Is it right here? No. Okay. It's good. It's good. Just give me a second here. I guess I should still kill it. If I can manage. I feel like I should be better at aiming by now. I was close, almost got six in a row. Honestly, those those griffins should be really easy with Plague Knight. Alright, is this the boss? Totally the boss. Alright, let me power up a little bit, although I'm probably just gonna die anyway. The bosses will actually be a lot harder if uh, you die once, because coming in with 4 life will be a lot more difficult than coming in with 10 life. Or 8 or 9 or whatever. Constable of Crucibles? Kingdom? Bask in the glimmering grace of a true monarch. I'm not sure opulence is good. Alright, he's got a lot of life. And he likes to hover around, which is... Which is what I like to do. And you do get some invulnerability frames when you use your, um, your big jump. Like, you can do damage with it, and you get some invincibility frames out of it. No down thrust. <laughs> That's usually where I should be down thrusting. Come on, stop using the fish. What am I doing? Oh, I got stuck on the ground. Oh, no, don't die. I was doing so good. I should have just bomb them. What am I going to do? Escape! Where's my... <laughs> I'm dead. There's no way. Dang it! <laughs> well, now he's going to be even harder, because now I start with less life. Alright. I'm not terribly good with Plague Knight just yet. That's that's fair. I'm pretty sure I beat this guy first try as Shovel Knight. So, if you get him cornered and just spam the bombs. <laughs> well, thanks for the essence. Uh, did we did we just kill him? I got Shovel Knight didn't kill these guys. It kind of looks like he's dead. Am I playing the bad guy now? <laughs> Such cool animations, I love it. Alright, what else can we do? I think I've got enough Cypher coins. Give me something cool. New arsenal. 
Oh, it unlocks uh, more things to buy. Well, I do like firing a blast, but I like this the, the the slow fall is like really good. That sounds good. Keep throwing in bombs to make a bigger boom. I also like that. Okay, these ones, Sentry Fuse, maybe, Component Powder, and Float Casing. Those all sound really good. Like, these ones are neat, but you can throw less bombs at the same time, and I kind of like being able to spam bombs, but... These ones at the bottom seem, like, really good. Let's go see what else I can spend some money on first. I think... I only have the one spell, though. Maybe I can, like, buy another one here. Oh, I just killed one of my minions! Oh. I've already tossed over a thousand bombs? Well, thanks, Grandma. So that's it. I guess we only got that one, uh... We got the, the fish item, and that's it. Oh yeah, I'd be real good at physics. I'm not gonna buy that yet. I'm gonna buy more bomb upgrades because I only have one spell and it's not that great. <laughs> Time signatures? A romance tip from Sir Percival. Her heart will be like putty in your hands if you merely recite this poem. Thy love is a summer's rain. Dewdrops upon thine face. Shining in thy light. Be with me, lady. I don't think Plague Knight is looking for a girlfriend, though, to be honest. Hey! That's not nice to say about Mona. If you fall, try using the Vat Arcana. Look, I try! It's not my fault that I fall to my death over and over again. Stupid minions. Alright, we're totally buying some new stuff. Let's go... I could buy two if I buy this one and this one. Well, this one has an arc. This one floats up and away. I'm not sure which one's better. I mean, it's all just situational, I'm sure, but this sounds really good. And, uh... I would definitely like this. I just don't have enough money for it right now. I'll try the arcing one, because, like, straight, like, a bomb that goes straight up, or mostly up, isn't really what I want either. I want it to go kind of forward, and then, if it homes, then maybe this is all we need. So let's try this. Alright, so we're gonna go from bounce to lob, and from fuse to homing. So, the arc is like that, and then they wait till they find an enemy, and then they home in on it. I don't know if that's going to be good or bad, but, I mean, hey, let's give it a shot. Let's go beat that guy up. I'm not going to have enough time to do another full level, but we'll have a fight on the map here. Hmm. The lob might not be the way to do this. Is if this won't actually hit anything. So can we we can change those on the fly though. All right, well it's different. <laughs> Whether it's good or not is yet to be seen. Works pretty good on enemies on the ground. Maybe you're just meant to change them as you uh, fight different encounters. Like it's, it's just the angle of this shot isn't 
particularly great against the flying type of enemies. Oh, it hits some um, explodable. Uh, um, it 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 sort of seeks out explo uh, destructible blocks. That's cool. Well, let's uh let's go to Triple Pond. What's up? There's definitely nothing here. I guess he was right. Okay. What about this one? Hey, minion. Bunch of cipher coins. All right. Oh, how are we going to get that? Oh, are you going to need like a specific type of nifty? I mean, this one, that one. Oh, is that gone forever? No. Good. <laughs> There is a lot of uh, fishing spots here, for sure. Alright, so this area looks like trouble. Okay, hold on. There we go. We got it. We got it. Look at this. I know what I'm doing. That was not what I was supposed to do. <laughs> That's fine, we don't need that. Um, look. Look, bomb hovering is something I'm definitely not very good at, okay? I'm trying to figure it out. <laughs> this is tricky, it's, it's... I feel like... Um... Plague Knight should be easier to get around with the way he, he can hover and all that, but but it, it has a little bit more learning curve on it. Like, fairly significant more learning curve. And I'm not sure the hover or the homing bombs are as good as I was hoping. I'm gonna go get those red gems. So am I supposed to basically be switching like this? Like is that the idea is you're supposed to change your casing depending on like what enemy you're trying to hit? Because unfortunately if that's the plan that's a bit fiddly for what I like to do. Okay I think I see how this will work. We've got little mini, uh, fishing game puzzles. Hmm. Okay. Uh, right, I'm not even gonna be able to hit him with that casing. Uh, that's... It does seem like, uh, the bombs are really good about, uh, are really good at, um... Like, if you can get an enemy cornered with them, they can stun lock them really effectively. So this looks tricky. Because obviously you've got to run the bomb thing on, on the platform. The bomb fish. Looks good. Alright, not too bad. Well, we are getting lots of Cypher Coins at the very least. Oops. There we go. Oh, it's gonna be one of those. Oh, traps! Alright, 
So is this platform going to start falling? Not immediately. Uh, okay, so what I've got to do is send the fish, start charging up. <laughs> Look, I think I had the right idea. It just, it just didn't quite come through. Oh, right from the beginning again? It's cool, guys. We'll get it. We'll get it this time. I've got probably most of the fishing spots already. We can hover through most of these sections. Right, these can... Okay, look. Not a fan of your, uh... Your anchorings. I'm fine, I'm fine. Okay, so this one definitely has some trick to it, no no doubt. I wonder if, um, okay, I've got a new plan. Um, I think the plan is... I'm still not quite doing it right. So what I want to do is put my fish on this thing and then have that blow that up. Okay. So now we can actually go down a bit further. All right, there we go. That was probably the smarter way to do things. Hey, if you remember back in the Shovel Knight s section, those platforms with the, the, the helmets gave me some trouble in those as well. I'm never going to make it across this. I, I can't jump over that. Okay, please turn off the spikes. Again? There we go. Oh, no! I needed to charge! I forgot just how bad I am at jumping. I have to charge jump for everything. Even the smallest little platform. Alright. I think after this episode I'm just gonna take a slight break. Like maybe stop recording for the evening because Plague Knight's fun and all but his platforming is like more frustrating than um... More frustrating than um... Shovel Knight's was. I'm not even sure, yeah. I'm sure I can make this jump now. I'm almost also like a lot of it is like practice. You need to know how far you can make your jumps um, with with the charge or without the charge, and it's a little hard to tell because he's got such a he's so floaty. Like it, it's it's hard to know. I've solved most of the puzzles here. Alright, so I mostly figured this one out, like 90% of the way. But I just need to remember two fish bombs and then start charging. There we go. Not difficult, but like without your full max height jump, you're never gonna make it. And that treasure's just gone forever. All right, we got Annoying Guy. It's his official name. I'm gonna kill him first and then, uh, and then go back for the uh, fishing spot. I mean, the bombing spot. Might have lost his money there, but that's fine. Okay. 
Okay, hopefully this is the last one. Oh good, some paper! Oh, a nice stack of uh, potions, that's good. At least we can start the next dungeon. <laughs> I should probably just save them for bosses or something, I don't know. Okay, uh, let's turn in the paper and maybe buy something, but pretty much the end of the episode, clearly. I was hoping the homing bombs would be better, uh, I mean... I'm not giving up on them yet, but they're not doing too much for me. Sharps, flats, time signatures. Another tip. Her heart will be like putty in your hands. Oh, it's the that again. Same, same one, I think. How many times can you bomb burst in the air before touching the ground? Yeah, quite a few. Or wait, do they mean like... Do they mean that? Or do they mean like charge up, up in the air like that? Can you do multiples of those? Um, so I want to go... Jump, boost, jump. No, I, I can't. I don't think I can bomb boost again. Hey! Awesome! <laughs> Just throw bombs everywhere! Yeah, I don't think I can, um, like, boost jump twice, unless I'm missing something. Musical notation! Oh man, terrible! Clearly, everything needs more bombs. I've done a very bad job of exploring this area. Anybody else want some bombs? I got bombs for days. Well, we've got lots of money now, actually. Let's try, um... That's definitely not what I was trying to do. My controls are just not great with this guy. Looks like probably nothing on that wall, but we'll try the left wall. Alright, probably nothing there yet. Uh, so I can increase my magic, or I could try some other combos here. Let's try- I was thinking this would be good, so let's try the component powder. I was thinking that'd be good anyway. Longer fuses. Quick fuses. I don't know. I, I'm probably buy them all at some point just to test them out. Let's turn off the homing the f tech for a second. Okay. Two. Okay, that's pretty cool. So each bomb is smaller now. Each explosion. But if you spam three in a row, you get a big hit. That's worth a shot. All right. So Plague Knight, cool. I think he's definitely more difficult to play than Shovel Knight, and that's probably the intention. So you'll have to forgive me if uh, the dungeons are a little bit slower and maybe more deaths or more difficulty, but um, he's definitely fun. It's just, actually, you know what? I should check. How much is the next research cost? 60 coins. Okay, we're, we're almost at the next one there. So, um, yeah. I I like him, but it looks like he's he sort of gets less life if you die. And, um, his movement is different and a little bit more complicated. He's definitely fun. It's, an, it's a different twist on Shovel Knight. I mean, I was, I was just getting to the point where I thought I was pretty good with the Shovel Knight. And then now we've reset things with the Plague Knight, and I'm like, wow, I'm terrible with this guy. So hopefully when we get to the end of his scene, his, uh, his campaign... I'll feel as awesome with him, but it's it's. I think it's got a slower start. It's sort of more steep learning curves. That's what I'm saying. Anyway, that's all for today. Thanks for watching, folks. Hope you're enjoying the series, 
And uh, next time we'll probably go down to uh, the Spectre Knight's abode. Right? Yeah. All right. See you guys there. <laughs>